they all good on that? Oh, the yeah. blue. All right, water flow. It has to do with surface water, groundwater, uh, pollution sources, and, and such. So on page 88, Number one, uh, maintain and improve the quality of surface and groundwater in Macon County for proper management of point and non-point pollution sources. Any comments on that? Page 88. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, I think, I, you know, after reading these, if somebody can tell me what we're not doing already. Uh, uh, we're certainly protect the groundwater by restricting septic tank systems to appropriate land forms and soil types. That's one of the main charges of the Solid Waste Department and the Health Department already. Meter exceeds state standard for septic system installation inspection. We're certainly doing that. I wish we had more to do. Regulate well density and impacts on sensitive groundwater recharge areas. Uh, you have a well ordinance that takes care of that. Steer future development towards soft approach stormwater management. Somebody has to explain that to them a little bit more. Design drinking and wastewater systems to accommodate worst case scenarios for supply and demand. I really don't understand that one. <laughs> Encourage participation in state and federal stream bank restoration vegetation, which we do and are actively doing so. Incorporate GIS technology to verify and manage wells, on-site wastewater systems and resources for future planning. Uh, that's a great idea. Somebody send us a check. Sure. We'll be, yes, you'll need a check for that. Thanks. Thank you for your time to say it's going to continue. We are doing it. We're going to regulate with the state. Well, that's what the trust is. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. So we're on the word that says meet or exceed. Can we just say meet? Yeah. I mean, I mean, we're having enough trouble. We yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. having yeah. enough trouble meeting. I'm going to exceed or maybe get tough. I'd settle for me. And what what does uh, I never have got an answer on what soft approaches to stormwater management? Does anybody know what that means? No, I future I to development I soft approaches. approaches. I used to know. I, I don't know if that's kid. They explained it to me one time. I, I assume that most people. Not it, it would be non-engineered solutions. Yeah. It would be things that would cause you know, slow down of water movement, yeah, that's increased what, that's infiltration. That's, that's so, and like vegetative retention that you mentioned yeah, before, you, you would be a soft approach because you're not engineering like something, you're using something natural just to okay. promote infiltration. You go like you see now, Susan, like you see the raw to the states, ever, they have, every 40 feet they have to put up like a kid's thing for, for the erosion. Back then, I'm not sure whether that would qualify soft or hard. But vegetative things are, you know, with the, I know vegetative things are I understand. Okay. One question. I don't have no proof of this. I mean, it says steer a future, but if you tell the developer, you know, there's a lot of difference in saying steer and saying you must. Right. How about the last one? Well, yeah, yeah. Well, well, no, I think it would be great. And, and I think the county probably has that technology. I don't know that for sure. You have one of the most advanced GIS systems in the tax department you can have, but when you and he would be great, I think, for septic tank installers to be able to go back and and see, you know, now you have to go around and pull permits for years and years. And that would be great to start, but I think that would you'd have to do a pro forma on the cost. I think you'd have to. Again, it's only consideration. I'm not saying do it. I think it's time to leave it, Mr. Chairman. The director lets you do it. You want to? You want to start considering incorporating? Yeah, so that'd be great. But I would also say I, I'm not a real big fan. It was not meant to pour. You know, regulate that was my next. Okay, you got me. No, I've had my thing. I just, I'd like to see. I'm just asking for a I'm just asking. I'm not saying take it out. I'm just saying regulate. Regulate well done. Consider regulating. They're going to do a lot of things charge here. I'm not sure that you're going to. The state stopped the regulations on that, right? Well, 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 that depends on who you talk about. Yeah, that, we were down there and we talked about that. That, that uh, started out with gun hole and was turned into pop. Yeah, so it might be one of those things where they still tell us to do it, tell us to pay for it. And well, they do. Well, we know, know, I mean, they're, they're talking about training and everything. Yeah, well, what they're talking about, though, is... 
is elimination. Yeah, well, 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 they're, they're, they're getting kicked back to the municipalities and large counties, not rural counties. And that's they keep going blank. It's not over the state. They're getting real kicked back from the big counties. And uh, the Wake County, Wake County objective, highly, I think. Uh, uh, let's we'll read that. Density is already regulated, right? Yeah. change regulate to consider if that's up there with your problem. I like that more than that, but consider well density and impact of sensitive groundwater resources. Find sense, I'm just curious. Sensitive groundwater. Not groundwater areas. Groundwater recharge area. I mean, that, that's like a, a a spring underground spring. What is it? Sit super What is that, Jack? Uh, typically, groundwater is recharged by flood event. Uh, like your bottom river bottoms are usually considered recharge areas. So it's where the water settles. Grab. Well, if it's confusing to us now, we want to make this. If, we, if it's confusing to us now, what can we put in there that that you know the fact is we're going to visit this. This board will visit this probably one time. This is it. Right. So it's confusing to us now. Right. Is it going to be what confusing to the next one? What? Either that or somebody put a little more language in. I know it's hard for me to understand a lot of things, but sensitive groundwater. Give us another word, Dr. Jack. Jack, what are we trying to do? What would be a better word? <laughs> sensitive groundwater. It says sensitive groundwater recharge areas. Wetlands. Well. Why don't we put that? I understand what wetlands. That's number one. Well, I, I understand that. That's number one recharge. Okay. I understand that. I understand that. Well, this impacts on wetlands. But I think that's already covered under state statute. Yeah. yeah. I, I, wetlands are. I mean, they are precious they are. I, I'm not I'm sure. I'm not sure that. That's right. I, I would just say let's just uh, ask strike it. Let's try it. Okay. You're talking about bullet number four. Yes. All right, moving on to page 89. Encourage development, uh, which will have unacceptable effects on water quality. <laughs> I mean, there again, are we not already doing bullet number one? And he don't say ask for more. If we're not doing bullet number one, Jack, have you got a copy of this? Not with me. You want to come with him over mine? <laughs> Okay. Have you got that in front of you? Are we at number two, the first bullet? Is that, don't you go around the podium, Jack. Oh. There might be several more questions. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. Discourage development. Discourage well, development number one. Let's talk about that first of all. But is anybody going to get a nice in first two words? Apparently <laughs> 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 not. Okay. Some words, Smith. Let's go. How about encourage development? What? How about encourage development? Yeah, say encourage development. Which will have acceptable which, effect. Well, I would say encourage development which minimizes unacceptable effect. <laughs> Well, that's what I was going to ask. On, on the bullet number one, coordinate development with the local federal, state, and metropolitan agencies to ensure minimum impact on ground and surface systems and adequate waste water and waste water capacity. What of that are we not doing? Uh, we regulate more or less the water quality only in the watershed districts. How about the metropolises of Nantahala and Scary Mountain? 
Did you say wastewater first? Did you say wastewater? No, but just the groundwater quality. Uh, see, ground, see the way that, that's is regulated. It's a state ordinance that regulates uh, the density, the <coughs> lot size, and the amount of impervious service allowed in that. And that's how they control by their means the groundwater quality. They control the amount of stormwater runoff by decreasing the imper allowable in previous areas. <clears throat> they define density by lot size, like for instance, in, in some areas you can have one house per half acre, in some areas one house per acre, depending on the density of that watershed area. In other words, the location to the intake. For instance, the closer you get to the intake to the water source for the town function, the more the larger lot would have to be. That's the way it is now. In the less and further you have. Because okay. have, you have a lot of pavement or you have a lot of stormwater going across it. But that's the only areas that it is controlled is in the watershed. In the watersheds, which we have how many lake in? Uh down the homes and the front. Okay. Okay. Let's let's go to the time show let's what was the final language there? Courage development which will minimize unacceptable effects on the water. Maybe Mr. Chairman, there is one other area that I did leave out. And it's not particularly around the uh, drinking water source, but it's uh, actually the quality of the water below the uh, dam lake in there. There is, uh, we do have that included in the watershed protection works to get a certain distance. The water below the, that dam is considered excellent water, I would say. Did you work with, uh, with on the water quality? Did you work for those folks right here? Okay. No. Who did? Do we have anybody here that did? Dirt, I mean, it was a lot of Dirt, did you work with this committee? Yes, I was a lot That was Barry Patterson and uh, Mr. Brother worked with that as well. Look at those recommendations. Give us a word with your explanation. <laughs> explanation as to coordinate development with appropriate federal, state, and metropolitan agencies to ensure minimum impact on ground and surface systems and adequate water and wastewater capacity. <coughs> what was the intent? Yeah, the intent of that one was just to be sure that the groundwater in Macon County in all areas, not just in the areas that are regulated in watersheds, remains <coughs> of excellent quality. In other words, not put not put the groundwater anywhere in jeopardy. Not just in the uh, not just in the protected watersheds because it was brought up that as the future comes and again that plan is looking twenty years down the road. We don't know what's going to happen with respect to population growth moving in. Of course, if we look at the figures that's before us in that document, we see population growth coming very rapidly to this area. But of course, the economic situation we're in, who knows how it's going to happen. But groundwater was something that we wanted to be sure, no matter what happened, that it was protected and that citizens moving into Macon County had the best groundwater possible, not only in a protected watershed, but in all areas of Macon County. So how do you do What's the recommendation say to Coordinate development with appropriate federal, state, and metropolitan agencies. So you would take the laws that are already in place mm -hmm. and apply them to areas that we don't, that's not covered in? Yeah, just take the, take the, what's in place for the protected watersheds and are maybe apply already? it to other areas. Are yeah. they already there? State, state laws are in place. Yeah. I mean, if, if the state laws are in place, it better be applied anyway, right? Right. I guess I do. It's I, either law or it's not. Another thing that came up in that was like with, with the well program. There was a lot. There's a lot of talk with you know what direction that's going in as far as that program. So I guess it was to ensure that that we remain to, to do 
do the best practices. I mean, I don't have the areas. But the only thing, the questions I'm asking, Mr. Chairman, is that hidden, these things are really important in these few pages right here. They're all important. But, but these things, and do we understand? I want to make sure, first of all, I understand before I raise my hand. And what the word says, and it says to uh, to ensure minimum impacts. What is that? Can I get a copy of that? From me? You sure got it right there. 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 Right Yes. Yeah, or he's asking for a broader spectrum. I don't believe that. It appears to me that that's that's the intent. The, the intent is what you think to to try to protect all the waters, not just the water in the protected area. By these means, of controlling wastewater. And well, then why why don't we right. look at why don't we look at keeping the the bold print and just take right. get rid of the right. bullets? That's right. that seems to be causing some confusion. That right. to ensure minimum impact. I, what is that? I and mean, that's that's leaving it pretty open ended. Somebody's put it in there. I'm I'm comfortable with what Mr. Corbin says. That's what I'm saying. Which says encourage development. Strictly yeah. regulated the location of activities that would adversely affect the impact services. Groundwater systems that are recreational function. Scenic beauty or biological health. That covered that's a big question. I'd say keep the bold face as you do it. Isn't that something as a county though directly we would want to look at <clears throat> with in conjunction with the health department and somebody else? If you know, with the regulations we have in place, the health department knows if there's if there's a water that's what I was, if there's going to be an impact on, <clears throat> on ground or surface systems, isn't that already been picked up? That's what I'm I think they're, with the new, with the well program, since it's been in place, they're able now to start gathering some of this data. But for so long, none of this data I agree. existed. And now that they're speaking with Barry Patterson, they're, they've been able to get this data going and start collecting this data. So I think that basically what they were trying to do here is just to keep this data gathering process going and keep it alive no matter what happens in Raleigh and to be sure that development everywhere had, does not have an adverse impact on the groundwater systems that are going to become so important, especially in light of population growth. Well, if we said something like that, I could, I could live with that. I mean, well, I think that's what that said. Encourage development with I'm talking about collecting the data that we already have available. I'd say, I'll, you know, I'll be willing to put a goal in there that says continue to collect the data to ensure optimal water quality. Do that. Do we have that problem? Jack, do we have, are we fighting? Well, no, we're not now. But at any time, have we really had this problem? I, I go back to my original statement if we keep that first you're saying encourage development which did adversely and you're not getting into those specifics I have no problem keeping it and I and I just feel I'd have no problem with just continuing to collect the data to ensure optimal water quality yeah, I have no problem with that uh, but that's going to happen anyway. If we go back to our argument before on that bullet way back when we started about an hour ago, it, it's the same argument. So I, I would say I'd go on. I'd go on this bullet. I, I think keep the roll, keep the bowl, lose the bullets. I just got one more question. I'll no, shut up. Uh, you got the word. The definition of water quality, is that, is that determined by State, the Department of Natural Resources. That's it. That's it. It won't be around the top three. So, but on water quality, who who deems it? Is it our local health department now? Yes. 
And they're the ones who look at the wells. Uh, the state assesses, well, the, the local health department looks at the wells, but the state assesses all the stream. They help the stream. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, that is true. I think this was more geared toward the, uh, the actual systems of the, the groundwater and things of that nature that people will be consuming. The so wells and. Yeah. And, and, but if you read the bullet, discourage development which will have unacceptable effects on water quality. I mean, that's pretty much all encompassing right there. Um, if they encourage development, which will have <coughs> minimized unacceptable effects, that kind of goes. Yeah. Same. And just to, just to, I mean, cut right to the chase, I think what you guys read out sounds really good. And I think it hit the nail right on the Let's let Mike read it one more time. We'll take two bullet points. Yeah, two bullet points out. Keep the bullet points. Read it on the bullet points. The bullet and the bullet points will say encourage development which will minimize unacceptable effects on the Drive on the car. Agriculture. Bullet points on the all right, agriculture page 90, recommendations number one, ensure that the uh, EDC includes agriculture no. in its uh, economic plan for Macon County. Uh, I certainly agree with both bullet yeah. points. Very much so, just a point that even though we've gone from a Agriculture Society, <coughs> somewhat for non-agriculture, that agriculture, I believe I am right, is still the number one industry in the state of North Carolina. Am I right about that? That's exactly what we're doing. And, uh, it and was. it's coming back, I mean, you can see it in the, you know, which I mean, you can see it now in the, you know, in the census of the head of cattle. It's still in Macon County, and what response is being to the new West North Carolina Livestock Center. And part of that, I know I can speak to my family, and probably you could uh, they went to school back to my grandparents, that they made their living, they support themselves back to school. We couldn't afford to You had cattle. You had, you had, you had cattle. <laughs> so if we could encourage <laughs> agriculture, uh, we could get back to a point where people do make some money. Uh, I eat cattle, and I'm like what we did. Uh, Saturday, I, saw, I mean, it's, it's a growing business. I mean, people locally grow stuff more and more. And farm preservation yeah. stuff. Just, just a question on, on bullet number two, or not bullet number two, number two. Uh, uh, County Employee Service as an organized agent, uh, I guess I have no problem with that. Uh, I guess, would, would that be, I guess that would be, to be decided if that would be something under extension service like Well, uh, I, I think that's something for the department head and the appropriate department to come to us and say you need. And I'm okay with this as consider uh, as, long as long as you do help promote. And I'd say if you're gonna say consider you say they can look up brand. But I mean to me, I mean that's the one where and that's where Alan Durden would come before this board. Right now. That's, that's, say, that's what I'm that's saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That these independent boards have come to me, whether it be through a co op situation or however, that's what I said. Just change the word, if you would change the word will to would, or could, 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 or I think the co-op extension, which we have a wonderful one, yes. it ain't come for us too much. What did we change that much? Don't worry. Um, I think we want to take out the word will and we'll replace it with wood. 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 That was my suggestion. And, and take out the word consider hiring. How about just consider a county employee that could be an existing employee. Yeah, that's hard to do. Instead of hiring another person, it could be somebody to consider hiring. So we'll take the word hiring out of there. Well, we might volunteer. in that case, let's, let's push the county slash state because Alan Nerd is not a full county. That is true. I agree. So he, he's also employed by the state of North Carolina, but his part of his salary is supplied by Maine County Tax Law. You may at least go through for him. 
farmland and stuff like that. I'm all for that. If that's what somebody wants to do now, if that's somebody's land, I wouldn't want to come to the point where you tell me you're going to use it for a farm. I think that's the record. I know, but I know it could be misleading right there too. I read that up hard. I don't want to step on somebody's toes to bring it to what they want to do with their land. This talks about the tree things they still want to be out there planting the corn because they might not be as much real as they're going to have. It's all right. Let's pass on. I missed that one. I'm going to look at that. That's all right. All right. Uh, page, this is the work page 97, education and recreation. Well, I'm not quite sure where to put it on the back of this list. Because we combined education and recreation. But in front of, yeah, it was. <laughs> I wasn't thinking clearly, but you got to bear with me. I'm, I'm, I'm in front of about to go into heat stroke here, I think. Uh, under, the, under the education recommendations, I would like to put it down now with the consensus of the basic. Where are you at? We're in education and recreation, 97. Okay. Like I said, I don't know where to insert this thing that I'm going to tell you about, but I, I want you to. I want you to hear it out first. I think you need a caveat that says all recommendations or, or, or this section is included for the completeness of the document only. Any action on the education recommendations would be at the discretion of the Macon County School Board. I would like everybody to know that, that that's not what was intended here. That, that we're not going to tell Macon County Schools what they need to build and what they don't need to build. But for the completeness of the document, if it's going to be a comprehensive plan, and since we're going to end up putting the bill for whatever they decide is appropriate, especially in the bricks and mortar aspect of things, then I think that it needs to be in here. But it needs to be very clear that it is not, okay, something that we want to do. This, there were a lot of education and, and, and teachers and board, board members on the Board of Education that were on this, this subcommittee. So it's not like they don't know these recommendations are out there. But I think it's very important that we caveat at least the recommendations on the education side to say these recommendations cannot be acted upon unless it's discretion of the school. And, and, and because that way there is no question. There's no doubt in anybody's mind that it's up to Macon County Schools to implement any any recommendation that they find. So I don't know quite where to put it. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll see where this ties into your discovery. The only the real problem I had with this is creating a dedicated funding source for education is also critical for the future growth and goals of being an above average community. Education is too critical not to have reasonable consent operational income. Well, the fact is, it's a state responsibility given. Yes, yeah. Uh, it would be great if we had a pool of money with the cuts that's coming down the pipe for education right now. But, uh, but to say that the county is going to get in to the education, I mean, we do help our teachers with a supplement, which I fully support them at 93. No, I'm, I'm still on the 97. The only first page. Five school. Down there towards the bottom, creating a dedicated funding It's the third, that's the third, part yeah. of the third but line. Up. Creating okay. a dedicated funding source for education. I mean, I, I, does anybody ever see the county stepping out and I mean, that sounds great, but in practicality, if you start doing that, are we going to supplant the state responsibility like we're already doing? I agree with what you're saying, and I agree it's confusing. For that reason, I'm going to support you. But let me tell you what I think they're talking about. I don't think they're talking about the county saying, here's the funding source. I think they're talking about making a push for the state to give us control of a funding source for us that would be dedicated. And you can't do that. Well, so we right now, you can look, forget that. That's look, right. So God, I, I was in wrong. I remember. And look, it, it's not going to Flip over to page 103. And that's where I thought you were talking about. Page, page 103, number three. It says identify, create, and, and fund a publicly a public publicity entity that will provide clear information to the public on why how taxpayer investment dollars need to be spent for education and recreation. You, you've got that. It's called school board. And yes, having right. served in that capacity, so to create another entity, you've got one that you got a person that does it. 
Yeah. Well, I would I would take number three out. I, I, I appreciate what they're saying. Just to what agree with. I, I just know when I read this, and I'm sure there was a good reason for the education and recreation in the same yeah. pigeonhole. I, I didn't hardly understand that. Well, because there's so many MOAs between the rec department and the school and the gyms and classes. Well, I don't disagree with that, but I would I would be for striking. Are you saying which one to leave recreation projects in that line? Or strike the whole line? No, they say it's strike the whole line. I said strike the whole line because you also you also have a recreation a county recreation board and a recreation director. We have a recreation line with the so we, I we go back to 97. Yes, it, sir. It, it, the consensus that we're going to take that paragraph. That's what I'm saying. They're, to me, they're, they're, yeah, they're two separate things. I, I, I would certainly support mm -hmm. taking creating the funding source. That paragraph. Page 97, like yes. about three fourths of the way And let, let me say to you. And we're not saying that education is not critical. <laughs> no, we're, not, no, we're, we're not. saying it's critical, like we spend half of every dollar to make we're getting to make a county get, which is higher than the state average. We think it's extremely critical. That's why we spend more than the state average. That's why we go forty three million dollars worth of school. We get our committed ourselves to that for the last three years. Mr. Chairman, that's, that's, that's clear. Let's speak to Mr. Tepper's suggestion and take it out sort of changed my mind to this. I had originally thought when I read this that we should take the education part out simply because you've got a school board and having and I can speak I hope you tell you that having served they're elected just like we are. And so I didn't want to feel like there was a duplication of services there, but I, I'll have to say that I agree with Commissioner Peppers um, that because the county is the funding arm, if, 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 the, if the school system decides to build whatever, <coughs> in North Carolina, there's no statute saying the school board can raise their own money. They have no way of raising money. It has to come from uh, the state and or the county commissioners. So, for that reason, I would say that it stay in, but what I'm agreeing with him, I think we need to put in there that we're keeping this in here because of the county's financial involvement, but we recognize this commitment. And commitment. commitment, but this but this is the job of the school board. Right? But it is acknowledged that no education recommendation can be acted upon without the discretion. Mr. Will be. could you repeat that for Mr. Good luck. For Mr. Yeah. Decker? Let's try to eat. Uh, here we go. <laughs> All right. We're going to say that the education session. Over. Are you going to put this in the introduction? Yeah, I'm going to put it right up here in the front, right before the introduction. Okay. Right, 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 here, right, right there, right, right under education and recreation. The education section of this plan is included. Now, now I messed up. Is it included in the included in the comprehensive plan because of the county's in, in the interest of completeness and to demonstrate the county's commitment to education? Any okay. The education section of this plan is included for completeness. And I just lost it again. Um, <laughs> And commitment, and, 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 to, and to display the county's commitment to education to make it count. Period. Next sentence. Is it probably going to put the word recreation there in any way? No, because I don't. The recreation thing falls under the plan. Would you be willing to add to that? All references to curriculum or that or at the discretion or whatever. I'd go further than that. I would say any. <laughs> recommendation which affects which, which any change any recommendation this plan with regard to education services will only be made at the discretion of the will only be implemented at the discretion of the Macon County School of Macon County Schools. And obviously you could you could make the argument, well yeah, they come to you for money though and you don't give it to them, it's at your discretion. That's always the case. All I want them to know is, is that we're not gonna jump, no no board is gonna jump into this plan and start executing education right. recommendations or even try to do that without it coming from them. It has to come from them. Did yeah, that did I, that say what I wanted to say? May I take a stand and repeat? You may <laughs> The education section of this plan is included for completeness and to display the county's commitment to education in Macon. 
any recommendation with regard to educational services will be him will only be implemented at the discretion of Macon County School. I would add one thing. I would add contained in this plan. Any recommendation contained in this plan will only be implemented at the discretion of Macon County School. Did I hamstring this too much? No, you can't. I mean, I, you know, I've, I've, I've bandied that about my head about 17 times this afternoon. And I think that's... And, and, and what we're saying in a nutshell is we fully respect the authority of the, the, of the dual elected school boards but to do what they're elected and quite to frankly, do, not part step of that, on that, because that's not our job. In my opinion, right too, you, you don't want to say that we encourage, you, I don't think this county commission does, but the county commission doesn't get doesn't need to get involved in saying, hey, you need to build a new high school, you need to build this or that. <clears> that's a a school board needs to do that. But right. Those guys run on those issues, they're re-elected or they're defeated on those issues. And they, they don't take their own for raising the taxes. That's right. That's right. And, that, and that's why I agree that it should be in And place. the curriculum. And the curriculum. And that's and that I can do chairman Paul in the But I but I don't think that we need to leave any doubt in anybody's mind what our intent. I agree with William Lynn and Patricia put that in. Yeah. Okay, so now if we move to page one of three for the recommendation. Uh, identify and resolve all past due maintenance requirements that create safety and or major repair issues if not done in a timely manner. And this is for the first five years of this prison. Yeah. I certainly hope that's been done already. Yeah, I certainly hope uh, so. But again, that's a that's a school that's, that's a school board issue. Yeah. School board issue. Yeah. Those. But but if you if you I was gonna say put the school board, but you put that at the very beginning, I don't think yeah, we so have to repeat that no, here. No, 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 I agree totally. Fund preventative maintenance programs to reduce the cost of repair. And all of these again are are school school things like we just stated. Number three we said we'd take out, right? Number three was creating yeah. yeah. three's out. Number four Start looking now for possible land sites and now have a new school that may be needed within the next decade. I say strike that because that's the school board. That's strictly school. school. That's strictly yeah. school. So that needs to be there. As a matter of fact, we did that. Right. So number four needs to get it. That's the school board back, right? I, I yes. Uh, upgrade Franklin High School to bring it to the 21st century as part of a longer age plan to expand. Uh, but to expand the facility to accommodate projected growth over the next 20 years. I agree with that. I agree with that. I think you should put uh, consider, but that's already considered. Considered. It's already in the school. Yeah, that is something that's strictly the school board. Board. Strictly school board. But a lot of these are, and that's why the cabinet. Yeah. That's why the cabinet. But that's already in the school board. I need to say if you wanted to put an asterisk by the ones that's under your school board, and then, and then go back to the caveat, put an asterisk that says, these are these are school board issues. I would have no problem with that. And, and number nine is not. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, let's use number six. But one thing I would like to make clear uh, for all the people spend time and effort is a lot of these are great ideas related to the school. It's just that you know we're trying to make a clear distinction. It's a school board issue, not a county issue. It's not. It's it's, it's not. We don't. That's not within our purview. I do think the school board needs to have a copy of these ads with you. Yeah, I, I, I think they will really use that. I think, I think, they I think once they're, they're adopted, I think you need to do that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. make them aware that there's a section you got to adopt them for. Let's get that. You know, I think it's a huge one. All right, number six, uh, create a dedicated funding source for education and recreation of sales tax dedicated for these quality of life programs which is less costly to fund them. Wouldn't it be lovely if it may happen? We don't have the ability to make I mean, I don't agree with that. We took out, we took out the paragraph in the front that supports this. I think right. this has to go. Yes, yeah, six, and, I mean, I think we're all right. Num number three that we took out takes that out. Well, actually, that paragraph in front is so well, create yeah. a funding source. And when right. we got rid of that, that's the support for this. Three, four, four, six, I mean, I'd love to do that. So you have to begin lobbying for state and federal changes in education programs to allow more flexibility in planning the school year, method of teaching, and technology to use that school board. I'm not leaving it in there, school board. Yeah, school board. Uh, create a technology review committee that will update the subcommittee and school board commissioners annually. Uh, let's strike out commissioners. We don't need to be updated on what the school is doing. That's and can we say consider creating? Yeah. It sounds like to me that these folks are just, a lot of people that are involved in here would like to have the voices heard. What sounds to me like well, they would, read, they read, they read, would yeah. but they, 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 they got a lot of education people in there. Yeah. Right. So, 
program. But we say consider creating. Yeah, consider creating a technology uh, review committee that will update the subcommittee. I don't know which subcommittee. The school board. Oh, yes, they're talking about their own subcommittee. Technology. See that you go back to standing subcommittee right before the recommendation start at 103. That's who they're talking. About. Okay. Uh, let's do it. Number nine, obtain funding for the new building at Southwestern Community College. I would change that. Uh, your model for the big up situation we're in, but for the future, Mr. Chairman, is, uh, is we, you know, we need a building right now. Not, you know, not that out here, but we need a building at the, at the, at the teaching facility. Yeah. Well, this is the first five years. It still go out so in thirty. This is the first five years. Uh, seek to obtain. What I got. Obtaining. Is it over <laughs> so so let me see if I can just since we through that first time. Let me see if I can. If we were going to do the asterisk thing, which I think may be helpful. Okay. It looks like we're going to have to put asterisks on one, two, three, and four are gone. Five, seven, eight, but not nine. Everybody agree? Yep. Nine is the only one that's yeah. purely us. The yeah. other eight is purely them. Yeah. Three, four, and six are gone. Three, right. four, and seven. And I would add, Mr. Chairman, just stopped on that number nine and as far as obtaining something okay. funding. If we need to, uh, you know, if you want to put, you know, this has to be a partnership with the, with the state community college system. Just say a partnership. A partnership with. Because they would, uh, there's not very many communities that could be elected if they're in college. Yeah, that was a partnership with the uh, state community college. So, yeah. Mr. Chairman, I think Okay, second five years. Uh, number one, identify methods for expanding Highlands K 12 school and enhancing its capacity by using hybrid workload. That's Astra. Astra. Uh, uh, number two, depending upon demographics and not a highly area again, the planning to build a new take twelve building surely an answer. Number three is to either begin planning for a new school on Fort Franklin area expanding to this at a board. Uh, number four, begin construction of a new recreational center, which can become a convention center, basketball court, community meeting center, indoor swimming pool complex. That's preferably in cooperation with the business partner. That is a real That's good. That's a real fine <laughs> sky. If you're going to keep it, you got to put consider. Do we have to be I think you need to put determined need and consider. Yeah. Determined need for us. When you talk to the swimming folks, the need's there. It's there. You know, it's there. You talk I mean, to the, the need. Is there, the but need is. But the money's not. The so. convention center, uh, hmm. you'd have to define that. Yeah, I'm not sure that I'm not sure the needs there for that, but I would say with the recreation. You know, as far as the recreation part of it, right. I think the need has been demonstrated. Yeah, that goes uh, down to where you're Basketball courts we've added one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Another temple. So I mean that's all well and good. But, I mean you can leave it in there, but uh mm -hmm. I'll be all right with that. Yeah, I'm trying to be. I mean, I would put determined need and consider. Yeah, I think it's considered. Determined need and consider. Determine the need and consider. And then take out which can be. Have you ever seen a staple center on Burma down in the too? No, I'm not, I'm not sure what we hope to do. Just convention center. And change the beginning of the wording. Determine need and consider. Determine to consider construction of a new recreation center which can become which which could include. Which could include. Yeah. Yes. I don't I don't have any hesitation to say in the second five years the uh, and that's 2016. That one does not have an answer. Right. Okay. The number five continue to have a standing subcommittee review. They did. They they recommended. It. They kind of slipped it in before they got the recommendation. 
for it again as the last they brought before the first record. Well, that's in the second five years. And you'd probably want to look on the committee if you want to go to that far to look at a, at a complex, you know, such as that. And that's all in the recreation. No, no, this is, this is the this is actually both. subcommittee for the comprehensive plan. What this is. Yeah, I think they're talking about their. I think they meant their section of the yeah, comprehensive plan. Yeah, this section is what I. But Lord would make that clear. Yeah, I don't think that's what they meant. I don't, I don't think we need to stand. You don't think they meant the whole thing? No, I think they meant their section. Point of the phrase, standing. They're talking about their section. Yeah, they were talking about their section. But they did say that you know we said all along that we would do one creative plan. We're going to do one for the plan as well. And I did. I don't think we went back and added it, but to go back through and see if um, every two years it, how the population trends are really stacking up. Would we have a subcommittee out of the planning board to do that? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think we would. I mean, you already got the yard and we're going to block and work and just put another thing on. So. <laughs> you, know, you, you can allow them to do it, but then everybody's going to ask why. You know, and, and I think that's a planning board issue. I think the planning board should review the, the comprehensive plan from time to time and make the recommendations. If we need another subcommittee, make the recommendations. If we need another subcommittee. I think that's we're creating right. something here that we probably don't. I mean, it's just a take yeah, it's just me. Take number five. Out. I would take number five. 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 I'm not right. I'm just chairman. I'll give it. And can we on page one of three? Can we strike the standing subcommittee where they're talking about? I think you can. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Three. So just doing our asterisk check here. One, two, and three. During the second five years, one, two, and three, four is gone. Five is gone. Mr. Chairman, could I could we go back to number four for just one? Yes, sir. Uh, did we or did we not take out contentions? Yes. Did. So, if I may, this this would then read this one. Determine need for and consider construction of oh. A new recreational center, which could include basketball courts, community meeting center, indoor swimming pool complex, preferably in cooperation with a business partner. That's right. Can you slip one more word? I just hate that principle. That's a split summer. Maurice still can shoot me up. I like it. How about we say preferably constructed in cooperation? How about that? Is that good? I just got to get it right. Uh, it just drives me crazy. Uh, All right. Uh, yeah. one, you are. You make a lot more money. I, I think what we'll do, you know, we'll go to 105. We'll do this uh, last one. It's going to take a five minute break. And we'll take a break. If that's okay. All right. So 105, the third, and fourth, five years, second, which would be the 15 years. Uh, no, that'd be 10 years and beyond. Yeah, that's the after we the subcommittee went forward with that team. Do we even want to have the subcommittee, subcommittee look at this? I'm going to be a subcommittee. I think what you're going to end up doing is at mean? the end of this thing, you're going to be tasking the planning board to review this ever so often. Well, what I do think is that it would be great for the school board to see these things yeah. that were presented, since it does apply to them, as as they were presented to me. Oh, yeah. Okay, how about this? Not with without the change. Okay, right. how about the strike subcommittee? Just continue to look at it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. How about that? And the yeah. school board can do it. Yeah. Okay, let's yes. Yeah. With Ashley. Yeah, with Ashley. I've been a school board. They can do it. Look at that. Oh, we got another problem. I think the folks out in the audience would like to. If everybody can do it, I'm ready to keep going. We'll just get through. They're related to me, I'm going to give it. I'm going to check it right here. We'll take you five minutes. I'm out of here, but I'll make it if you don't. But you're calling me, Chair. I'll do it. I'm going to stay. I'm doing all right now. I'm good. We'll go for five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, I can say this is all right. I'm not here. Next, uh, transportation and housing is the next one. And that's the graphs uh, are the. Hey, we can we can 
need that for the group. Could we, because the word provide has has financial implications, could we put the word encourage, say, well, we do. Because we do have a dog in this fight because we do plan. And I think right here, Mr. Sherby, you can throw something at me if I say something incorrect. I saw you slip to the back. <laughs> right here is your link to the comprehensive transportation, in my opinion. This is this is where it is. Uh, and even if we just said provide input to North Carolina DOT, encouraging black, 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 black. Okay, even if we just did that, it is the time. I don't, I don't mind it, but, it, it, but I don't think we should say we're going to provide well, safe roads yeah. because we don't. We can't get the okay. We start. don't. But I think we could we could say provide input, provide input for safe roads. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. okay. See what I'm saying? And the word input. Oh, okay. Is that Brian? Do you think that would that would link it sufficiently? We said provide input to North Carolina DOT to encourage blah blah blah. blah. Would that, would that get her done? Say what? Come on up, Brian. Come on up. I want to get the words right because we only get one chance to make a, a right impression or whatever that kind of thing goes. Bill, I can. See what I'm, you see what I'm trying to do with the bullet? I'm, I'm trying to make the way. They say provide safe roads, but we don't provide safe roads, right? What we do is provide input to the people who provide safe roads. And if we're going to in, in, we're going to minimize the impact on mountain landscapes, environment, culture, and historical sites, that's not us to do that, but it's us to give the plan to make sure that happens. For example, the 28 projects on secondary roads. I think it would be fun to encourage, uh, with change of encourage uh, by providing input. Right. Okay. So, provide input to North Carolina DOT to encourage safe roads while minimizing the impact on water. Like that yeah. makes sense. Which is what we do now. We all do. Right. We do. And we ought to continue. To so, 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 so I guess Mike, it's just it's uh, encourage safe roads. Don't leave by right. providing <laughs> input to <laughs> his, encourage okay. safe roads. I would have gone this way with it. Since you got all the minimizing impact, this is how I'd go. I'd say provide input to North Carolina DOT to ensure safe roads while minimizing and everything else. I'm saying encourage, but it's still We can't ensure anything. We can't ensure. To encourage, yes. To encourage rather than ensure. Yeah, we'll we want to be sure and exclude is provide safe roads. We, don't get we got that. We're providing input to North we Carolina DOT. Provide no we don't provide any roads, and you never heard me say that. So we don't. Let's look. We ain't doing that. Read that back to him. Please. Provided the North Carolina Department of Transportation to encourage safe roads while minimizing the impact on the landscape, environment, cultural slash historical sites, and prime agriculture. Yeah. Yeah. And get and that and bring it for the burger dogs or the burger dogs. I would say yes. They're fine. All right. Number two, we recognize the development. And communities influence roads and vice versa. Coordinate planning for roads with planning for appropriate development. That's kind of well. That's what the transportation committees that all the comprehensive transportation what, plan is all about. And this is, of course, this is a new program just rolled out. That the community is involved in more involved in the roads. As a matter of fact, I think we've made changes. On any road that's come into effect since the governor implemented this, and we've included bike paths and turning yeah. lanes. And yeah. Well, I think we need to make sure that NCDOT gets these recommendations. So they the ones that put it in the roads. Well, they will. <laughs> they will, because we'll have to reference it to transportation. All right, number, yeah. number three, promote growth and development <laughs> patterns that reduce tripling emissions and congestion. That reduce. I don't oh, like reduce. Okay. okay. I see the reduce. I said we're promoting congestion. Oh, <laughs> <reduce>. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad thing. I thought it was smart, but that's a bad thing. Right here. All right. I'm running on a instead of the last plan, just change I've got one just for it. Okay. Some of the last plan just changed it. I'm sure I'm going to get it on the board. Okay. So it may have been changed, but I'm sure I'm going to be sure. Coordinate road designs and improvements with planned and existing land use. We, we 
Oh, that's in the bottom. Number two, number two bourbon. Yeah, two bourbon. Yeah. Number two. I understand. Okay. Include communities. Yeah, that's that's the whole reason for the transportation committee and the and, it, the, and, and this is very much as many people are staying home. Yeah, we're talking about transportation. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's a huge step for the DOZ, too. Oh, yes, I'm going to pay you that. Not exactly. Not, no, 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 that's exactly what it is. Same word. Word. Yeah, he runs, runs pages. That's not one that, his, his is one way of wrong one of them. But, yeah, but it is the right word. It's right it word. is the right word. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, then number three. Uh, promote growth, that's what we're on. Promote growth and development patterns that are due to tripling, commissions, and congestion. Well, the only thing I did when I read that, just make sure you're not <clears throat> you're not contradicting yourself. So here you just said to provide a safe road to minimize the impact of mountain landscape culture and historical mm -hmm. climate culture. And now you're saying that we want to get there as quick as we can. So <coughs> Is that the same thing? I mean, the quickest way to get there. Is the I mean, we're living in the mountains. The quickest way is uh, is where you can build a road. That's right. Ronnie, can I respond? I was on that committee. Yeah. What what we meant was that trying to have development such that trip length required was shorter. So for example, if you were replacing a school, you would consider a trip length for students and where you located that school. So you're not trying to put in a bunch of roads to for shorter trip length. You're trying to plan development efficiently so that say you would locate things that were going to have heavy traffic okay. where there were already roads to serve them. Okay. Is Ryan still here? Did he leave? Yeah, Is that I'm right, Ryan? I'm not letting you get out of the trap or anything. And it would be great. And in the future, we might be able to do that. Right now, we could do that on a certain project. But establishing funding sources to aid the DOT and funding of sidewalks and other things. I'm just afraid if we put that in there that. Uh, I'm not saying if you come back to buy us, but it sure could. I don't want to believe that. Well, I mean, sidewalk. It, it does just say sidewalk. I know, but I. And other enhancements. Mm -hmm. So if you want a bike path on on a certain road, mm -hmm. so well, it's in your plan, your long range plan to provide funds. How's that come along? So, yeah, exactly. So you strike that forward. Which are you on number two? Oh, number three. Number three. Number, 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 number three one, two, is three, three, four, five, six. Number six, six, number six. six. Okay. It's a, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Who owns the Greenway? Yeah. Mr. Turner. The county uh, owns the property to accept the local easements for the right roads to conduct certain uses there. Duke Power being the main But it would be it would be our purview is my question to create a master plan. That would be our purview. We could create a master plan but it'd have to it'd have to have a was already paid for you because <laughs> the conservation is that that's my problem. But, and I think Maybe. it's fine to leave that in there okay. that because the Greenway may change it I don't know if you've ever seen any commercial uh, no, I freely admit I'm, really, I'm really been not up to speed on that. What, what are they trying to do anyway? Will you stand on things and ride and I can be killed? Segway, segway. What is that? Segway. Those two wheel guys were standing up. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, I mean, so, yeah, I mean there'd be somebody to run off in the water. They got one of them. They'd they drown trying to find that shit. Yeah, but I think yeah, that's yeah, fine yeah. if a future board wants to look at doing that. That's fine. I, I just, the Greenway's established and I just want to make sure so many easements and deep power controls most of those easements that you are very limited on what you can if you go back to the invasive species discussion that we've been in the middle of yeah. you'll see exactly how much that so 
right? Agri did, did we put uh, encourage the creation of a Greenway Master Plan? I think that's fine. We're considering. Uh, several of these other ones, just, they seem like they're commands rather than suggestions to you know, develop more of those applications. I consider it a consider development of. Right? That's bullet number one, not yet. Encourage. Like we build streets and roads, we don't build those anyway. Well, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's a good point. Yeah. 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 Encourage planning for <laughs> We don't build. Yeah. For example, Cal Franklin might have some issues and roads that they want, and it might be helpful if we jump on board. Let me talk about that example. On the fourth one, then let's say encourage construction of yeah. streets. Yeah. Streets. Encourage construction of streets yeah. and roads and connectivity. Uh -huh. and, you know, that's kind of as long as there's no in inference that we're going to ever build a road, I'm mad right. Right. That's what we're not <coughs> there. I Let me just make sure that they go down the list. Number three, we're going to leave that wording as is, I hope. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Right. That's, that's yeah. Right. Okay. And I understand what you said about building yeah. streets. I agree. Yeah. 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 And the problem with eliminates the problem of main thoroughfare, uh, that would be great, but most of that is either in the city limits or annexed in the city limits already. I mean, there are four from one and a few main thoroughfares, but uh, I mean, we can certainly leave it in them. I don't see where it hurts anymore. I could consider. I could I consider. consider. We'll consider a sentence for development. No. Well, you want to well, take that from that? I mean, I'm just trying to say, you know, we're trying to go down there and take out the answer. Right, so we're on the one that says incentive for development closer to existing commercial centers. Recommend. I would say consider. Or consider. Recommend. It's already a recommendation. I would yeah, say consider. Yeah, consider incentives. <coughs> Although it's true that most commercial places don't. They won't want to be there anyway. They won't be out in the middle of the road. I'm going to try to get to make sure you know what I'm saying. You said you're saying encourage the creation of a green commission. All right, number four. I think we all probably agree that we need to continue to support the RPO. Uh, by delegate, uh, that speaks that line? Right? <coughs> yes. Okay, number five, update the comprehensive transportation plan before we do it. As a Lake County comprehensive plan is updated for following any major land use changes in the college. Yeah. Now, Mr. Chairman, I would, and we don't have to put this plan, but I, I, I think that with the changes in transportation we're going to see in the next while, I think these people are, you know, you have to rotate them out. But even if it's met twice a year, I would, I would support having a committee, a transportation planning committee that's active throughout the year to make it just because I think you're going to have to because that's way more dynamic than this plan. And, and we yeah. found out the other night at our RPO meeting, things change quickly. Yes. And, and, and that is the avenue to get it to that committee and, you let, and let that committee make a recommendation to the board. Okay. Uh, you, know, I, I, you don't have to put it in here. I, I agree. Let's no. put it in here, but if you want to consider that, I'll bring it up. Oh, I, I would definitely. Uh, 